lads and welcome back to the channel and today we are back with another food trying challenge video and today we are heading overseas today we're going to be trying out some different types of snacks from all across of Asia now we have done one of these before that is just exclusively Japanese sweets however this is more broad that is going to be from many different countries and many different cultures all across the continent of Asia and you guys seem to love it when we did the American version of this so hopefully you guys enjoy this just as much and I've opened the box to make sure it is that and I can tell you this there is some very exotic looking things inside of it <laughs> so if you guys do go on to enjoy today's video go down below and smash that like button and listen lads if you've not subbed already get down below and start subbing otherwise big man Bruno's gonna come smash your faces and you might think that's a little bit much but lads we are literally about 60 subscribers away from 4k subs so get subbing and push us towards our goal that we've been working on for so so long let's keep going boys one final push. So without any further ado, let's get trying some snacks from across Asia. If I chuck this box here, we've got some mental things straight off the back. But in terms of what we're going to start with, we've got drinks. we got noodles, by the way, which have got chopsticks. I think I'm going to try proper chopsticks for the first time in my life. So that'll be cool. We've got some stuff called ding-dongs. we got what looks to be like a burger top, but it's... I've got no clue. And we've even got something that looks to be like a little jelly pot type thing. Maybe it's a bit squidgy, so maybe like a yogurt. I'm not too sure. So honestly, I don't know what to go for first, but I'm, I'm just going to wing it. So first and foremost, I can't even read what this stuff says, but if you know what that is and you are from Asia or I've been there before, then feel free to inform me what it is. Digging into a boring pie, getting out of a loving time. Is that what it says? Maybe. I don't know. There we go. Oh, it smells like a... Like roast chicken, like roast beef walkers. Oh, is it like a cracker? Look at that. That looks interesting, to say the least. I've got no idea what that is. Let's go. Oh. Not keen on that one. Oh, oh, no. I'm so sorry. They're kind of like Snacker Jacks, but stale. Don't know about that one. Now, next up, we got what looks to be those little like cracker biscuity things. One of them is broken underneath, which is a little bit of a pain in the bottom. But if you guys know what this is, feel free to fill me in. Crack in the middle, I've portioned it for us though. So let's see what this is. <clears throat> Mate. Why does everything have like a fishy taste to it? Ooh, it's got like a fishy taste to it. It doesn't taste disgusting. It's like the aftertaste leaves like a little <laughs> type feeling in your mouth. Not like a throwing up, but it's like a... <laughs> I want to try to get rid of all like the cookie, like crackery type stuff. So that is what we're going to do first. I believe that is all of like those type of biscuity cracker type stuff that we've got left. So we'll go for this one because that looks kind of similar to the first one we tried. It's going to be very similar. And if anyone knows what that says or what that is, then feel free to um, fill us in there. Mate, it kind of it smells the same, but it just leaves a weird aftertaste in your mouth. That is the next thing we'll be trying. Cover my face. Focus on that. This could be interesting. Looks like a burger bun top. Mm. That's probably the best we've tried so far. Like, out of everything we've tried so far, that is probably the best. But I wouldn't sit there munching the loads of them. They're 50-50. Unless I'm now completely wrong, we have got this load of crackers right here, which has got some English on it. Green onion thin cracker. This could be very, very interesting. Oh, you can smell the onion. I'm not going to like this. That literally tastes like a breadstick with a tiny, tiny hint of onion. That's the best we've tried so far. These little green onion crackers. They are the best things we've tried so far. Is there any, oh, let me have the other half in a bit. Give it a good taste. Mm. Oh, there's more. Oh, this is a surprise. We are going to start with these little gummy things we've got. We've got a little mango gummy one there. The grape flavour gummy there. Strawberry gummy one just there. I don't know what it, what it's meant to be in the shape of. It, it looks like a bum. That is a bum. Uh, that, is a, that is a bum. Cheers. Mmm, that's nice. 
It's just a grape gummy. Picture a Haribo, but the inside of a Haribo being filled with a lot more like juices. It's not a soft centre, but it's a lot more like juicy in the middle. That's nice. I'm excited for the mango one, you know. After a very, very successful grape gummy, we're going to go for the strawberry one now. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. The strawberry gummy. Soon as you took a bite out of that, you could taste it. That was brilliant. And I am now very, very excited for the mango one just down here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, yes, mate, these are literally so, so juicy. The strawberry, the mango one's by far the best. I could actually, the grape one was better than the strawberry, you know, and that mango one. Oh, look at that. Look how, look at that. Wait, look at that. Oh, the, oh, <laughs> it is just jelly. So we're going to commit to this. Three, two, one. Hang on, it's trying. <laughs> ah! Oh! Okay. That is nice, that's just lemon jelly. Tell you what, if you're watching this and you either live in Asia or you go there quite often, you have absolutely banged your like fruity type sweets. Because that jelly and those gummies, you could taste the fruity juices so much. That is brilliant. Big fan. It says Mimi at the top. I don't know. I have no clue what this is. It's got a little cat on the bottom and it says Mimi at top. So that's all I can go with. Do you know what? I could be allergic to absolutely anything in these that without even knowing. And I'd never know because they are the instructions. <laughs> oh, they're like little sticks. Okay. I can't really taste anything. Let me chuck a couple in my mouth. One sec. Mmm, it doesn't really taste like anything. The best way to describe that, if you got a breadstick and tried to give it a tinge of like mini cheddar. It's a mini cheddar breadstick, but the, the mini cheddar is not strong. Nothing wrong with it. It's just a bit there. <laughs> Next up, we've got noodles, ding dongs and super sticks with super dots. Choco flavoured, flavoured? Flavoured wafer sticks. These look like they are going to be absolutely incredible and I believe they're going to be slightly similar to what we've got here. Oh, that smells very strong. Can't even get them out though. They haven't thought this one through. I was going to say how'd you get out, but you ready? You ready? Come out. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. It's all on the floor. I literally had one job and clearly didn't work. But without any further ado, we have got one of these little super sticks here to try out. So let's give it a go. Mmm. Mm hmm. That's very nice. It's very flaky when you take a bite, the crumbs will fall, but that is very nice. So, what is coming up next? We have got this little. I don't know what it's going to be. It says peach and orange in it, which could be very, very interesting with some sort of drink. I don't, know if, I don't know why I listened to see if it's going to be a fizzy one or not, but we'll see what that's like. We have got the noodles with the chopsticks. We've got ding-dongs and we've got these little cream-filled cracker choco stuff. Uh, I don't know what they are, so we'll save them for last. I no do know what these are. Well, at least I can read it anyway. So we'll go for these first. And Oh, after seeing what this is. This could be very, very nice. This is three layers, right? So this is what it looks like on the top. It is three layers of chocolate and like crackers. Look at that. That could be very nice. There's only one way to find out. What's in the middle? Just chocolate. Okay, cheers. That's really weird. It's nice. It's literally like a cracker, like, a cracker you would have with butter or cheese and crackers or something like that. But with no butter on it and just a load of chocolate spread inside. That's weird. That probably for some people would be absolutely gorgeous. But I'm not sure. Right. Snack mix with chips and curls. Looking on the front of it. Do you see like the picture of the stuff? That could be interesting to say the least a great way to enjoy your munching with this high grade snack mix in a pack 
Cornic, green peas, peanuts, chips and curls, all in one snack. 25% more peanuts. Oh, what, you know what I feel about peanuts. Oh, mate, it just smells hot. Why is there's, there's green peas in a bag of... It's a bag of crisps with green peas. Green pea in this bag of crisps. I'm not even going to bother trying it. There's no point. It's nuts in there, man. What if I'm allergic? That's why I don't like them. Oh, that's vile. Oh, why is there peas and nut? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Ding dongs. No, thank you. Oh, there's a bit of peanut in my teeth. I guess on the bright side, we can try this spot. Wait, what? oh my God. Oh my God, I just realized what this says. Read that. Sparkling tea, peach and orange. Is this going to be a fizzy cup of tea, peach and orange flavor? No way is this going to be a sparkling... What? Hang on. No way is this... Well, cheers. Peach and orange sparkling tea. That's really weird. That's really weird. There's got a weird taste in that. I wanted to let you guys actually see what the actual drink looks like. That is so weird though. Let me pour this out. Mate, it is literally like water with... That's so strange. Orange and peach? That's so bizarre. What? Okay, swiftly moving on, we have now got these little noodles with some proper chopsticks. This is going to be... Do I have to like break it apart? Is that how it works? Wait, is there like instructions on the back? How do you open the chopstick? Or am I being an idiot? Guys, as you can see, and the chopsticks are separated. So I need to break it open. Oh! I did it! Yes! So to do it, you tuck one, tuck one thumb under, so it'll be like that, okay? And then you add a second chip, chopstick, hold it as a pencil. Oh wait, so one goes like, uh, like underneath the thumb, like, so like that? So like that? Right? Okay, anyone who knows about chopstick form, how, how am I? Oh, hang on. Wait, so one goes, tuck the thumb underneath like that, and then the other one I got a hole like a pencil. Wait, no, oh, shiza, hang on. Maybe it'll make more sense if I'm doing it with food. So let's go get this ready. I'm assuming it's made the exact same like with hot water, right? So it's the, this is the exact same as our pot noodles. So we're gonna go boil some water and chuck it in here, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Right, so we have got the hot water. We need to leave it for a minute or two, they said, so it like actually works and all that, but we're still trying to work out the chopsticks while I wait for this to be fully made. Maybe like that, because if it's just... If it's just noodles, this one, you could probably grab it like that, and then you hold the second one like you're holding a pencil. Maybe it is like that. It does smell really nice, you know. It says spicy gourmet on the top because everything just has to be spicy. And what if I test the water, literally, like, is it spicy? It just tastes like water. <laughs> I wonder if I can show you about pouring it everywhere. Let me try to tilt, tilt, tilt the camera down. There you go. That is what we are working with here, okay? So, that is what we are working with here. It's literally just like a pot noodle, but I don't know if you can see, like, the actual chunks of mushroom in there. That is what we are working with here today. Now, can I... Oh! I got a mushroom! That's my first ever bit of food grab. I need to take this lid off, man. I need to try and grab it. Hang on. God. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. I need to try and wangle it around. This one bit of... You're not... How are you meant to get the flavours, though? Because you can't grab all the little bits around it. Right, here we go. Oh, it's just a pot noodle, man. It's not spicy, though. Mm. I do realise I'm definitely not using the chopsticks correctly, but 
I'm eating. Like, that is... Or maybe it is how you do it. I don't know. Hmm. Oh! Right, at this point, you're just going to see me eating a pot noodle, so I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to finish eating that, because that is actually very, very nice. But that is where we're going to end today's uh, Asian snack tester. As you can see, the box is now just full of these little polystyrene things, and that is completely empty. So... We're going to say a goodbye to you guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. Let me know what you think looked the best out of all of the things we tried. I'm going to be honest, the best thing probably is the pot noodle because it's just the pot noodle, realistically. But I will say, those little gummies, fantastic. The mango one in particular was absolutely beautiful. Who ever decided to put literally green peas in a packet of crisps just baffles me but that's it from me hopefully you guys enjoyed let me know any suggestions of sweets and food and snacks you'd like to see me taste from different countries and continents all over the world down below in the comments and let me know what you thought about today's video see you guys later boys take care and peace